our households produce a lot of waste on a daily basis. Do you know that some of the things found among the waste contain toxic chemicals, for example, the battery, the bulb, and electronic devices, they all contain toxic chemicals. We should therefore ensure to properly dispose of them. Aside from that, domestic waste can be helpful. It can be organic, reusable, and recyclable. Now, what do I mean by organic waste? This is waste from plants and animals that are allowed to get rotten, turning into rich soil known as manure. This manure can be applied into our farms to improve on agricultural yield. Reusable waste is waste that we can use again. For example, milk and white oats containers can be used as storages for spices and other things. Recyclable waste is waste that undergoes a process to make similar things. For example, old booklets can be recycled into making newspapers. And the newspapers can further be recycled into making toilet tissues. We should separate our waste. Use the organic waste for manure. Reuse the plastics which are not decomposable and recycle the ones we can. Let us see how the family deals with the issue of domestic waste management. B. B. Mami. Peel this plantain for me. Put it inside this bowl. Enjema? <laughs> Enjema? Yes? Please bring me the detergent inside the house with the bleach. Let me wash this clothes before the sun goes down. Okay, bring it in. Please, fast. Good afternoon, everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. Brenda. Yes, I'm good afternoon. Back. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Hey, Brenda. Is that dirty water for my laundry? Yes. What's the matter? I can see you used bleach and washing powder to wash your dresses. And when you throw this dirty water away somewhere, the chemicals from the bleach and the washing powder will get into the soil, and that can kill the plant and will even lead to low yields. Why you do this on the farmland? You should better throw it somewhere in the drainage. Okay. And Gemma? And Gemma? Yes, mommy. Bring your trash from the house. You come and gather all the things that littered here on the ground. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How are you? What are you doing? It's trash from the house, don't throw it somewhere. Where do you want to throw it? Somewhere at the corner. I guess it's because of this magazine article I read today at the office. You know, I'm beginning to get more and more worried about the way we handle our waste in this house. Look at, take a look at that thing. We're supposed to separate those things. Why? I guess we all have to read that magazine. And... Um, Maybe they'll be coming over this evening to give us more light on this. I'm quite sure you know something about it. Okay, if you insist. Okay. I'll be the first to read it. That's better. Where's Papa? To this side. Alright, uh, let, me, let, me, let me talk with him. I don't know if it is because he didn't go to school. Mom, please, let me put on the camera. Okay. Okay. Um, how, how do we do this? Earlier on, uh, young guy, you called me over the phone and told me you wanted to have a meeting. 
about this domestic waste management issue. Yeah. Yes. Since I started working and could buy more things for the family, I realized that we now produce more waste than before. In my neighborhood, waste disposal is a serious issue as well. How can I be when I see trucks carrying trash every day from your neighborhood? That's right, they do. But remember, some people still deposit their waste on the roadside. Mm. That's bad. What still That's is, bad. when it rains, the runoff washes the dirt and trash, thereby blocking the drainage system. Mm. Sometimes the wind and animal push down the trash containers and its contents is spread all over the place. When the waste blocks the waterway, the area is easily flooded since the water cannot find its way out. And that's the reason why we usually have flood during the rainy season. Really? Yes. It's true, yeah. Do you know what I think? I think it's better for us to keep our trash can in the house until we get a signal from the van that collects trash. You know it now. Just know that it's time to collect trash. See, I also understood something from reading that magazine. I understood that some of the toxic domestic wastes ends up in the streams, thereby polluting the streams. Ka Injama. It's true. No, she's right. To avoid the toxic weeds to end up in the rivers and streams, let us cultivate the habit of separating the toxic waste from the others and deliver it to the waste collecting van. When we separate it, you will see we allow the organic waste to rot and we use it as manure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So you mean I can reduce the amount of chemical fertilizers I use on my farm mm -hmm. just by collecting organic waste, letting it rot and dispersing it? Mm -hmm. Yes. That will reduce. Okay. Mm -hmm. That will save me the amount of money I would have normally used to buy fertilizers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we <laughs> used to buy more food though. Hey, people. Food. hey people, I could sell the empty water bottles to people who sell oil and granite. Eh? And the rest to people who might need it. That's all you do. Money. Um, Joe yeah. Black, I totally agree with you. You see, I will also collect those plastics and supply them to recycling agency. Mm -hmm. Which cities use plastics into market bags? Mm -hmm. Then we can make a lot of money. That's all you need. Yeah. Money. Ah, boy, boy. We can make money by sending our materials to the recycling unit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. What we should do is let us cultivate the, the habit of separating our waste. We should use what we can reuse yes in that way we save our environment absolutely yeah sure. ah, granted. Yeah. you are very right yes. <laughs> 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 but see we don't we don't yeah, need yeah. to waste time yeah.